Weezy out of here. Weezy out of here. Weezy out of here. One for sure, you gon' need three promoters I got the body from Jamelis, but I had switched the motor I got these badass bitch riding around this bitch named all the coders I just told her make a story, I just bought all the Trojans I told her Welcome, welcome, welcome You just landed safely in the warm embrace of the Know Your Drip Podcast this is episode one of one, and you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with us. Let the church sing, let the church sing. <coughs> me, me, me. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Dominique, a.k.a. D-Money, a.k.a. D.C., a.k.a. Shoe Club, a.k.a. Call me what you want, but you can't call me broke. I am the owner, the CEO of Flagball LLC. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. Also, follow me on Snapchat at the 106. Already, man. You already know what's going on. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure I can make this straight. So, I'm a man of many names. I'm a man of, of, of many, many names. Most know me as DJ Zanthony. Uh, some know me as Zantonio. Shit. I heard a motherfucker the other day call me Zantastic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but one thing that you can't do, that you won't do and will not do, is forget that Zan. You understand where I'm coming from? So today, and today only, I'm going by one name. You see what I'm, you see what's going on? You see what I'm doing? Coach Zan. I'm Coach Zan today. I already got the stripes. I already got the stripes. I just need a whistle, man. That's all I need. You know, you know what's going on? <laughs> hey, y'all know what's going on, man. Yeah, yes, sir. All right, man. So now tonight, I'm going to get it to I'm going to get it to And now tonight, we starting to show off with an absolute banger. We popping off our very own version of the versus battle, but with shoes. All right. Now, this is going to be the first of a series within a series on some, on some old Inception type stuff. Um, kind of like a simulation within a simulation. And it's also going to be brought to you by lack of worries. All right. So go ahead, get you some gear. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and fill up on your gear where you can. All right. So uh so real quick, shoot plug. What's happening? You heard about them verses going on? Oh yeah. Yeah, man. What's your uh, what's your favorite verses that you done watch the scene so far? Matter of fact, I think last night they had the uh what is it, the Osley Brothers they had, versus uh, the Osley Brothers and Earth, Wind, and Fire. I missed that one. I know that one was heat. I know that one was heat. I'm gonna have to go find it and watch it. I had to I had to wake up. I had to wake up too early, man. I ain't even honestly I'm gonna keep it a book. I ain't even know it happened until really after it happened. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't even know it was going on, but I know that I, I know it was fire. Uh, real quick, real quick, before you before we go, before we get into it, who you think won? Like even without seeing it, like if you had to pick before, who you think? I'm going with Earth, Wind, and Fire off top. Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's that's a yes, strong sir. pick. That's a strong pick. I gotta yes, sir, I gotta man. go on the other side, man. For uh, you know, for Ron Isley. And my brother Ernie on the guitar. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them boys over there in the Osley game, man. I know. Hey, listen. This is a song that I know won it all. Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. If they played that last night, I know that would said it all, man. Hey, what's the what's the real yeah. song called? I think it's called Voyage to Atlantis. That bit really make you sound like you in Atlantis when you hear it, bro. Straight up. Uh, who who did Brandy go? Who did Brandy go against? I keep on wanting to say it was Maya, but it was uh, Brandy against what? What's her, what what's Monica? Her face? Monica, 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 Monica. Shouldn't know. All right, I ain't finna do y'all like that. You know what's going down. Nah, uh, don't don't yeah, give them the I'm not gonna hit them with the vocals just yet, man. Shit. We we starting early. We are gonna start on a good foot, man. So so. 
Me and Shoe Plug had to come up with three of the hardest shoes that we could have found. With those three shoes, we got to put them up face to face to duke it out in a head to head battle to pretty much see who actually know they drip to for what it really is. Uh, so not only are we going to have three shoes going head to head face, you know, face up to see who really knows their drip, but we added a little bit of spice to it, too. And we chose a fourth option, which was pretty much like a choice um, that didn't really make the cut so much. Come on, this ain't this ain't uh what is it the golden globe awards man give me my time give me my time man uh so to add a little spice right as opposed to the fourth option right that's going to be the fourth uh which is going to be the uh reasonable mention the fifth option is pretty much going to be last you know what rhyme with last right trash ass 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 and past <laughs> gas so we had to go ahead and choose a <laughs> whack choice a crash choice that's gonna be the fifth, man. Just to switch it up a little bit, shake, shake the box up a little bit. You get what I'm saying? All right, so uh For sure, you gon' need three promoters. I got the body from Jamelis, but I had switched the motor. Easy. Lit early with the Is first banger. Easy? Real early with the first banger, man. That's how we popping it all, man. But before I talk about these, man, I want to go ahead and uh, get serious with y'all real quick. I want to, I want to take this time out real quick to send positive vibes, positive energy. I know y'all been seeing in the news. Our brother and rap DMX, man, been going through some real troubling times right now. Um, so I just want to take about five seconds to allow everybody to send some great vibes up, some great positivity so that man can come out on the other side, the other end of that, that situation, come out on top. All right. Now, without any other further ado, we're going to get into it. Back to the number one hit, man. I'm coming like Deontay Wilder with this first pick. I'm coming like Deontay Wilder mixed with Mike Tyson mixed with uh, uh, Tyson Fury. All of them put together with Mike Jack. Michael Jordan, put all the Michaels together, man. That's what we doing with this first round, bro. All right, so what we got is the Yeezy Boost Mauve. I know some of y'all calling it Mauve and Marve. Y'all know what to call it. Those are Mauve. You get what I'm saying? And it's based off that color right there. So if you see that that gray color on the back, it kind of look like brown, gray, purple mixed with maroon. That's what we call Mauve. Go ask your girl. You know what I'm saying? She probably got a lipstick. You know, uh, <laughs> from uh, Cover Girl or from uh, Mac. You know what I'm saying? They know all about the colours. You get what I'm saying? So shout out to Kanye, mm -hmm. man. He he really got in his bag with these. These are honestly my very my first. Excuse me, my favorite pair of Yeezys. Um, I'm not really a fan of the high top. I'm not a fan of uh, you know, everything that they doing with the other joints. Um, do we got any other flicks of these, or is this the only the other pair we got? Oh my God. Oh my oh, that's God. The right there. All right, man. So the first pair, you know what I'm saying? Them things was released with like October 19th of 2018. I still ain't got me a pair yet. I'm still going to grab me a pair this year, 2021. But when it comes to these that's on the screen right now, these is the sun colorway. These just dropped what, January 23rd this year? Crazy. Crazy. Like I'm talking about stupid. So I know you see the three the three stripes in the middle. If you put a little flashlight on that or if the police flash you one time, I'm telling you, it's going to be looking like feds taking pictures of you as soon as they catch a, catch a whiff of these, bro. So um, right now, uh, you cannot find these in no stores. Not going to happen for you. Not going to happen. Ain't going to cut it. But originally, I just want the sun version and then give me the mold version. Everybody else can take the other ones off my hands. That's cool. Less for me, most for y'all. Now, the gray joints is cool. I think they calling those the, uh, what's the, they calling those the hospital blues. So, you know, you, you, can, I'm, you pretty much can put the context clues together. You know, hospital gray socks, you know what I mean? Kind of with the blue. Yeah, you know what we're doing over there. So, anyway, just go ahead and give me the reflective joints. You feel me? On the left side, the green. And that's how we kicking it, man. Uh, you seen Kanye in these? You seen uh James Harden wear these? I think James Harden was um inspired by these. 
actually right now on my feet, I believe Mr. King Push himself. Yeah, that's King Push in there. I think King Push was inspired by those, and he actually came out with his own pair that I feel is a pretty good spinoff, if you ask me. Now, I said a spinoff because that's, that's, that's like looked at as a peer. It's not, you feel me? It's not looked at as a, uh, you know, as a lesser tier or anything of the sorts. It's just a, a spinoff. You know that y'all watch Power? Then they create what's the show with uh, what's the son name? Ty, Ty, Tyrese Takis, Tyrese. 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 Tyrese got his own show going on right now, man. So you know it, it, they doing numbers over there, man. So that's how we coming. Uh, seven hundred dollars right now. Seven hundred dollars plus if you want a pair of these. Gonna be resale. Gonna have to be eBay. Gonna have to be you know somewhere online. You're not getting these in the stores. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you plug had this one. All right, it's my turn. I really wasn't paying attention, but I see he has some heat. He has some heat. I'm not a big easy fan, but we're gonna let him have that. So first up, my round one. This is for the ladies. We have the Nike Air Max Plus Atlanta. You know, I gotta pull up something for the ladies. That's that's what that's where I'm gonna get my votes from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 this specific colorway, it's a part of the City Special Collection. This recently dropped February the 27th. It retails for $170, looking at a resale of maybe $250 right now. Um, some stores do get restocks right now, but pretty much if you want these, you're going to pay the resale value for them. Um, the colorway to me was kind of disappointing. This is, a, this is for the City of Atlanta. I would think that it would be a peachy type of color instead of the pink, but hey, the ladies love the pink. I didn't even see some dudes with these on. Um, the biggest thing on this shoe that caught my eye was the, the shoe jewelry. Um, it's in Atlanta, right there, gold. I mean, it's pretty much a simple shoe. I mean, Everybody got a pair of Nike Air Max Plus in their closet. These shoes are extremely comfortable. Um, I pretty much wear mine for fashion, though. But, hey, I'm loving it. And it, it got ATL all over it. But I was kind of disappointed with the colorway of these. So. I, could, I could see what they're doing with the, with the pink. Honestly, I mean, you know, like Princess Peach from Mario. I think that's, pro that's I probably what they was going for. I don't know. It looked like the Princess Peach dress. Nah, I want that. I want that Georgia Peach color. You know what I'm saying? But they straight though. Something to give for your lady. Okay. All right. Okay, Queen B. Shout out to the Beehive, man. You know what's going on, man. Hey, I'm glad you stopped on this pair. Your boy himself owns a pair of these in the flesh. I had to bring these to Carolina with me right now. I don't know if y'all can see right now, but I got North Carolina down, downtown. Uh, I'm talking about North Carolina. Downtown Charlotte in this picture right behind me, man. I think Lamelo was, I think Lamelo was uh broke his wrist the day they took this picture and they actually hand painted it. And um, I actually got this. Yeah, I actually, I actually got this from somebody that hand painted it. Um, while Lamelo Ball was breaking his wrist, um, during that exact play, and so I picked that shit. I picked it up. You know what I'm saying? It was a must have. 
I, I didn't get his name signed on it. Well, he signed the back of it. Not a fact, not a number, so. But uh, you're back to it. Yeah, so these right here, man, these is my number twos. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Uh, the Ivy Park Maroon Joggers, man. Oh, my God. The night joggers, man. What could I say? All right. Did I say that they reflect? Did, I, did anybody see? Did, so I'm not sure if y'all can see on this gray part of the shoe. Right? It looks gray. But it's a reflective. It's I'm I'm all about the reflective area. You know what I'm saying? You see these chains, reflective. Wipe your eyes right now. You know what I'm saying? So we reflecting off everything. Oh my God! Look at Queen B just putting on for the map for Texas herself. But I'm gonna just tell you a little bit. Like it's not just the shoe and the colorway for me. Um, it's the fact that she went out on the limb. They went out on the limb and got these Popeyes colors. Man, it's like. I feel like they were trying to exude black excellence when they made this with this colorway. I feel like when she came out with this release, I mean, it was second to none, bro. I had I had to get me a pair. She had to come back and make some more of these. And so, man, the whole campaign fire, um, everything is unisex. What you know about the whole campaign unisex? So these overalls, a man could pop out of these. Them sneaks, a man or, or or a woman could pop out of these. So all of them are unisex. Um, it's many, many, many different colorways in this. She dropped the icy park now, but these right here specifically, looking like the goat. These right here is called the frozen yellow. And so it kind of looked like ice cream a little bit. I know you see the little strap on the back. I don't really like me walking, myself walking with the strap on the back. I mean, it's, it's going to collect all type of stuff, but it's cool for photo shoots. I like to wear that that little uh, keychain like on my belt loop. You feel me? And when you come to that, to the other pair, uh, the maroon ones, you got to really match it to the T, bro. Like, I'll be looking like I'm going to go clock in straight at Popeye's. You know what I'm saying? When I pop out on that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know it don't sound like that deal, but when you see me pop out every time, they be like, Oh, you that deal. You know what I'm saying? These right here came with like a teddy bear on the side, man. Hey, this this came with the uh with the Ivy Park releases too. I'm not sure if you can see the back, the back string or the drawstring in the front, but you know, tying up your shoes is a thing of the past, bro. Who ties up their shoes anymore? You know what I'm saying? If you're not pulling, you know what I'm saying, and, and pulling and tucking, then what are you really doing? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to sneakers or shoes. Especially night joggers. If I'm jogging through the night, I want to make sure that you can see me with the reflection and make sure, you know, for utility, I could pull it tight. You know what I'm saying? And hit my high knees and and do that little number that they did on Get Out. Remember, he was like, and then he hit the corner. Like, that's what I'll be doing when I step out with these. You know what I'm saying? So, anyhow, I love to see what Shoe Plug got for these, but these are my number two pair. Um, Obviously, these hoes sold out in under two seconds. So if you want to get them right now, good luck. Um, if you want to buy them from me, I'll sell them to you for an unreasonable price. That's what I got to come up off of if you want, you know, something with the beehive attached to it, man. And I've spoken. I got a question. The I guess it was the, the ones you call the ice cream. They were the green and what was it, lime green or something. I would call them the Sherberts, actually. They come with a gym bag? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm just know. asking because of this. The strap on the back looks very gym baggish. Hey, like I said, I mean, man, it's cool. Put it on, put it, put it wherever you like, and it's utility. You feel me? And I like the fact that it's up with the new technology of the shoe, uh, with the whole pull in the back instead of having shoe strings where you physically have to tie. It gives me that Nike uh, Vapor Max Flyknit, the 2021s. Uh, it gives me that feeling. I like them. I'm going to call them the Sherbets, though. Cool. They call them I thought, cream. I don't know. I thought Sherbet was like orange, but I don't know. Right. No, they got some lime green color. Oh, yeah. Okay. They got some lime green. But those, those are fire. That's cool. You know, hey. Those are fire. Yeah, we on the even plateau with that. The pink joints that you pulled out, the first joints. You said everybody got a pair of them in their closet. I don't have a pair of those in my closet. I feel bad because I do need to get me a pair. <laughs> you know what I'm so, damn, man. You just put me down with that one, bro. I'm a broke boy. Got me feeling like a broke you boy. Gotta get you a pair. First pair need to be icy white. 
what we got coming up next. Hey, 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 hey. We got the Nike Dunk Low Women. Yes, sir. You press out one for show, you gonna need three for motors. I got the body from Jim Ellis, but I had switched the motor. I love those colors, boy. Those colors just do something to me. They give me the Easter vibe. I wouldn't even just wear these on Easter. I probably wouldn't even wear these that much. Um, these actually released on April the second. So what? This past weekend, last Friday, they actually released retail for about a hundred to one ten. They sold out, so you got to go on go to get them. Um, I picked the dunks as my second shoe because of the retail value. You got some dunks out there that cost three thousand plus thirty thousand. They got the Freddy Kruegers that are about thirty thousand. Ain't nobody copping those right now. But I'm in love with. I'm actually in love with the uh, the sole of them. You got the yellow speckle. It gives me what's that Easter candy that looks like an egg that got the speckles on it. I can't think. Of I don't it right know, now. but I seen that Easter commercial, the one that come out like every year. They playing the same one since before I was born. I seen that on TV. That yeah. day. I'm like, they don't give a damn. I can't think of the eggs, but that that the bottom gives me that vibe. Then you got that nice <laughs> white blue toe, and then you got you know your Easter pastels. This this shoe right here is a vibe, and again, this is for the ladies. Okay. If you can see, I'm targeting the ladies tonight. Okay. To the, I always do something for my fellas, but ladies. I had to do something for the ladies tonight. All right, so if you had to pop out a knee, what you putting on first, man? Because you know, what you put, what you putting on with these? What would I put on these? Number one, I wouldn't even put these on. <laughs> what you put your gal in the knee? What you tell them to put? <laughs> which Easter color are they popping out of knees? Is it all white? Are they rocking the the pink? Are they pink me down or? She would rock. She would rock all white. Okay. Okay. But you got me. I can't. But yeah, I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even wear these. They would stay dead stop. Yeah, yeah. I I can see why. You know what I'm saying. I can see why it's doing. It's doing some. It's doing a little bit. But I respect these. Like you know, I I can respect it as dead stock for sure. So I'm with you on that. Let's go round three. Uh -oh. All right, real quick, man. The press I want for show you gonna need three promoters. I got the body from Jim Ellis, but I had switched the motor. I got the back. Slam duck on these bitches, man. Hey, let me go ahead and stop the track for a minute real quick. Let me stop the track. Another pair your boy had to personally pull out his own closet. All right? Now, these speak to me personally from the heart. Not only because this is a, one of my own favorite pair of shoes, but number two, I don't know about y'all, but I'm a 90s baby. Everybody claim that they love to be it. fans of anime. Where my true anime fans at, man? Who really know about... That real Vegeta shit. You know what I'm saying? That real Dragon Ball Z shit. So shout out to the Adidas gang, man. Adidas put did a collab with Dragon Ball Z and dropped like 12 pair. Like, I'm talking about like uh, over a whole year or something like that. Or like once a month. It was crazy. It was crazy. Um, now, when these came out, let me see. Let me see. These dropped uh, what? Mm. November 4th of 2018. Damn, it just put me back into that time, man. I waited like a whole year, you know, while they used prototypes. And then when they finally dropped, do you know I got the Majin Buu? I was in a waiting room. I got the Majin Buu's, no problem. When it came to these, these bitches was gone in under five minutes, y'all. I was in a waiting room. Had them in my whole cart and everything. Them bitches was gone. Finito, for nothing. Definitely dropped out for these for resale. I paid an extra hundo. It was nothing that you know they retail for 160. I dropped 264. It was cool. It was worth it to me. I made it happen. Now I'm not sure if y'all see these details, but when they sew one of one like this, check the details, bro. 
look at the bottom. They still managed to get the boost on the bottom for comfortability's sake. Look at the front. Have anybody watched Dragon Ball Z? The front is just like it's got the same material as the shield that Vegeta wore himself. Y'all see the over 9,000 on the back? Y'all probably wondering what's that about, right? So if you watch Dragon Ball Z, Vegeta is the prince of all Saiyans. And so y'all may not know this, but Goku, the first time he seen Goku, Vegeta went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because he was like, oh my God, this is the first time that I'm seeing the power over 9,000. So it's basically like quoting Vegeta. But what y'all don't know is that Goku power level was 10,000 and Vegeta was 18,000, nigga. So it don't matter. Even though he lost the fights, he the prince of all sands for a reason. You get what I'm saying? So that really went into why I chose these as the, you know, as the knockout punch. My last pick of my three, my three-headed snake, my three-headed cerebrus. Man, y'all ain't following me right now, man. That's why I chose this to knock, knock my opponent down. You get what I'm saying? Because these right here, these right here, second to none. All Adidas. Coming second, third, last. If you ain't first, you know what Ricky Bobby Daddy said, man. These bitches right here, those the ones, man. Y'all don't even know, man. When it comes to the box, the box got Vegeta fighting Majin Buu on the box. That wrapping paper, when you slip it. I wish I had the box to show y'all right now, man. I'm talking about one of the craziest releases, man. Known to man and humankind when it comes to just knowing your drip. I don't know about how you know. I don't know how anybody else's drip is, but when you have to know your drip, speaking to self, <laughs> Zan knows his drip. I again, drippy. Let the church sing. Got a little anime education right in and there. Appreciate that. From me to you. But let's go to my third year real quick. Let's go. The press I want for sure, you gon' need three promoters. I got the body from Jim Ellis, but I had switched the motor. I got these badass bitch riding around this bitch named all the coders. Hey, let's go. So we got the Air Force One Low Valentine's Day Love Letter. All right. This shoe actually dropped February the 13th, the day before Valentine's Day. It actually joined up with the Air Force, sorry, with the Air Max 90. This was actually supposed to be a collaboration. Both shoes were supposed to drop at the same time. But unfortunately, the Air Max 90s didn't drop until March 2021. When I look at these the love letters, it gives me the strange love, not low vibes. Um, also with this shoe, you got the uppers that go our strange love. You can kind of see the similarities there. But the upper of the Valentine's Day love letters. Uh, it's made of a suede. It has a premium white leather. Uh, you have red swooshes on the external and the internal panels. You also have the, on the tongues, you have two love letters. One of them is going to say true love since 82. And then the other love note is going to have a heart with the Nike swoosh. Also on the back of the shoe, you're going to have Nike Air in 3D embroidery. Instead of having a dot on the eye, they have a heart. And if you look close at the toe box and on the mid panels, instead of having the normal circular hole preparations like we do on regular shoes, they're actually going to be in the shape of a heart, which I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, also with the shoes, the insoles are mismatched. Uh, they come with two sets of laces. I believe one set is red and white or it's another red and pink. I can't remember off the top of my head. And then you get the special edition box, which is white and red. Just like black folks talking about mismatch. <laughs> well, they are mismatched. 
one of look, one soul is is I believe pink and the other one is red, or vice versa. Nah, hey, I ain't gonna lie. That was some pressure. That was pressure, man. With the love letter on the inside, I ain't gonna lie. That was pressure. You know, they yes, I had a lot of I actually had a lot of dudes hit me up about this shoe. The dudes really wanted this shoe. Like, they really weren't trying to get it for their female. They were trying to get it for themselves. I'm gonna tell you what it is, what do it. It's the um it's the texture, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the texture yeah. contrast. When you mix, you know, when you mix that suede with the, I mean, I ain't going to just name all the other textures, but you know what I mean? When you mix the uh with the yeah. uh with the uh with the uh, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to come, you know? Yeah, they hear different. That's why I like mixing the reflective with the uh unreflective, okay? Um, So real quick, man, before I move on to an honorable mention and, we, and you know, we, and we move forward, uh, real quick, man, what's like, what's your go-to? What's your go-to CD, go-to artist, or like go your go-to song playlist right now that you're listening to? When Shoe Plug wake up, brush her teeth, or get in the whip, and you got to get in that zone, what's your go-to right now? Mo 3. It's good to come outside. Man. How long? I, I, that's not the one with, with uh, Bobby Billions on it, right? Is that the one? Uh, I don't know, man. Say whatever that song is one. with it's him and Bobby. Is that the one like you know through the um like through his funeral and all that popping up like everybody out yeah. there? Oh my yeah, god! Oh my yeah. god! That song crazy. I'm not gonna even lie, bro. Y'all don't even know your boy. Hey, this what y'all don't know. Y'all gonna think this cat, but this real shit. Seventh grade, Mo three, moved to the north. Came to my junior high school. We both same year. You know what I'm saying? Same same class. Nigga came. You know how somebody come move to your city. You know, new kid in, in town, new kid in school. You know what I'm saying? They mama dropped them off, and they, and they took the whole first half of the day getting enrolled and everything, and they make them start the day that day of. That's the same situation, bro. Day one, Mo three came to lunch, fig, trying to figure out. You know what I'm saying? He he was singing. You know, halfway singing, doing his little thing. You know, back in the day, it was cool to sing that same Pretty Ricky and, uh, you know what I'm saying, Jodeci. And, and, you know, boys was, boys was used to do back in the day, that was with the dance. You know what I'm saying? You was the dancer, or you singing yeah. and rapping. You know what I'm saying? So I used to go head to head at it, man. You know, kind of singing a little bit. Sing, sing freestyling against my nigga Mo3. But um, on a, even on a more serious note, though, man, R.I.P. Uh, Lil Melvin, man. I really did grow up with your boy, man. Uh, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th grade on. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, we didn't stick together as far as like, you know, being best friends after we graduated and all that type of stuff, man. But you know, I always wished them well. I always supported them, you know what I'm saying? And everybody, anybody putting on for the north, you putting on for me, you putting on for the city, you putting on for, for what we stand for, man. And so long live three, long live mo three. If y'all ain't heard me say it, man, rest in peace and soul, man. Um, so that that's a good one. My go-to right now, I'm gonna say uh it's still money, man, dog. It's still money, man. Whatever that new track he just dropped, I can't tell you which one it was, but just go put up money money man on YouTube. The first video that pop up, he's going crazy, going stupid. That's my nigga Desi Banks say, man. Hey, and if you got some time, man, go ahead and put that ways in your system. You feel where I'm coming from? That way, that new ways on the way soon, man. All right, so uh Man, that was real fun, shoot. That was, that was real fun. What we got coming next? Put them foes up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Put yeah. them foes up. Yeah. Yeah. Put them foes up. The press out won't go shot. You can go three, three for more. Don't get tired, bitch. It's the fuck quarter. I got these bitch riding around this bitch named all the coders. Yeah, I just wanna make the. Ooh, that's heat. That's some heat, man. So these didn't quite make the cut, man. They didn't quite make the, you know, one through three. But um, y'all may not know what you're really looking at. You like, are these Adidas? Are these what? So Y three. I think that boy name was uh, what is it? Yoshi Yamamoto, man. Been collabing with Y three for like over ten years now, man, and. I mean, whenever they first collab, their shoes looked futuristic like this. And they still coming out year after year, still coming out with these crazy, crazy collab, crazy releases. Um, they are pretty much um, fucking just a collab. I mean, Y3 is an entity. 
um, like a like a like a, 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 a all together with Adidas now, man. And so these are some additional colorways. These are the Y3 Kaiwas. Um, my favorite one is those orange and red pair that you've seen on the screen. Um, when I'm thinking of Y3, I'm thinking of like, you know, uh, Japanese streetwear. You know what I'm saying? If 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 I had to put some on with these, man, I'm definitely got to pop pull out some leather. You get what I'm saying? Or I might even just dress like Android 17 or some shit from Dragon Ball Z. Like I may just come out straight robotic, just looking like I'm finna go walking on the moon with these. You feel me? <laughs> you cannot, you cannot come regular with these, dog. You gotta step into the future when you put these bitches on. Like, look at the back of these, bro. It looked like it looked like you peel the top off and put a battery in and just man say these bitches look like the future. But um anyway, man, if y'all don't know about it. Pop in Y3 in your Googles and, and your searches, man. Do your research. Y3 been up, man. And I spoke. Y3. Oh, my God. Yeah, a lot of people ain't going to know about those. Oh, my God. Yeah, man. Hey, if you want if you want to look it up, man, hey, these are still in. So the hype beast ain't worried about these. These stick around. You do not have to resell and go buy these from another person, from another person, from another person. These are available, but you going to pay. They four hundred dollars out the gate. Don't ask for no decrease. It ain't never gonna go down. It's never gonna go lower than that. You can wait ten years from now. Still gonna cost the same. They gonna be there for you. But I'm just saying. So you just gotta come with your paper right if you want to go ahead and get them Yoshi Yamamoto's. And at the church yeah, thing. That's facts. I like them Y threes. Big speaker. Yeah, come with your money. Come with your money on those that don't cover it all. Big stepper. Let's go. Honorable mention. We got them phone closets. Yeah. Press out one for a show, you gon' need three for motors. I got the body from him, but I had switched the all right, so this right here gonna be my honorable mention for tonight. We got the the Nike phone posits. This is actually one of the top selling colorways. They actually came out with this colorway first in 2014. They just re-released it January the 27th of this year. Um, you know who the first person to wear uh phone posits was? Iman Shumpert. Nah, let's go with Penny Hardaway in 1997. <laughs> <laughs> he was first seen with the originals on feet. Okay. I had to go back and take a look. And I was like, yeah, that, that was him. Uh, So with these, they got their Zoom air cushion, and then they have a second aerosol unit in the heel. Uh, I pretty much feel like they re-released this colorway to grab the attention of the consumers because... My own pauses are dying, to be honest. They really don't have a lot of um, releases anymore. When you go to the Nike outlets, they got a lot of them sitting on the shelves. So, to me, I feel like the phone positive movement, I mean, it's dead. I mean, you got to be a phone positive beast to be buying these. Like, that's the only colorway that I really like, to be honest. But I wouldn't even wear them, so I ain't going to buy them. That's just facts. I don't like the shape. They look like dinosaur shoes. <laughs> May I partake in making a comment on phone posits? Man. Come on, tell me about the phone posits. I'm not going to say the only pair because these are some heat. These are some heat. I mean, I do like my highlighter yellows and my highlighted green, you know, for the contrast, as you cannot tell. Um, but the Gucci phones, man, I still want me a pair of the Gucci phones. To this day, now you may they may be played to you. Uh, you might have had a pearl, you might have seen a lot of people. I ain't never like one pair of phone posits until I seen the Gucci phones. I still want those to those to this day, man. That's how your boy Zan do, man. Like it may be something that came out 10 years ago, but you know, I have my 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 I got my marker on them. I still gotta get them. I gotta put it on my collection, man. The Gucci phone's still on that list. I mean, you know. It's the shape for me. It, that shape just takes me out of there. But I, I love that colorway. 
the shape take me all the way out the game for me, man. It, it looked like it looked like Mr. Uh, like it looked like some robot shoes to me. Like it looked like I don't know. It looked like the shoes Jordan. It looked like some shit that they should have been wearing in the first Space Jam. <laughs> Everybody that wasn't Michael Jordan. Everybody else should have been wearing them hoes. <laughs> Larry Johnson and shit like that. <laughs> Oh shit! But yeah. Speaking of the first uh, Space Jam, I think Sean Bradley, man. Hey, man, prayers up for Sean Bradley, bro. I think he was just in a super duper bad accident, critical. I don't know if he in critical condition. I could be reporting fake news or some bad news with that man, but I know he was in a bad accident, man. Uh, good vibes up for Sean Bradley, man. Prayers up, Dallas legend. Dallas legend. Yes, sir. It's a Dallas legend, even though they said he was soft and all this other shit, man. Hey, cut all that out, man. Put some respect on Dallas. Oh, um, what well, I can put some respect on Dallas. I don't know about the Mavericks, though, brother. Hey, put some respect on <laughs> Dallas Mavericks, man. You know about the Mavericks. Hey, hey, if JJ Reddick see this, man, hey, go ahead and sponsor the podcast, man. I see what y'all doing over there on um uh the old man and the three, man. They doing good things over there, man. Shout out JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick was our latest, our latest pickup for the Dallas Mavericks. Um, I don't think I don't think he just the number one pick that we just needed to just take us over that hump. You know what I'm saying? But like we needed a, a guy to be able to uh, catch a three, catch and shoot type of dude, man. So shout out to JJ Reddick, man, and the Dallas Mavericks. One more time, let the church sing. Man, I watch a game for Reddick. You know, that way, man, that way. Hey, here come the trash. Yeah, 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 yeah. Press that one for sure, you gonna need three for most. I got the back. These are straight garbage. Where did these come from? They look like a mix of some sandals. And what the what is they the two? That's not the two seventies. Them seven twenties. What is this? Nike, you got some explaining to do. Basically, what the shoe is, it's a hybrid sandal shoe. It looks like something. Why well, would need for my grandma in these? Them things is ugly, boy. <laughs> Flag on the play. What are those? <laughs> Come here. You know, every Dallas legend got that arm. Boy, well, bring your ass over here real quick. <laughs> Boy, what is they doing with them shoestrings? Oh, my God. Well, who was they thinking about? What did they have in mind when they came out with these? I think they were thinking about somebody grandma, to be honest. But they ugly. We ain't gonna spend that much time. They ugly. Yeah, that's right. They straight trash. I think I got you beat though. <laughs> I think I even got you beat with the trash, man. Let's, let's see what you got up. What her? Man, I know you yeah. didn't come with this. Yeah. <laughs> Press out one for sure, you gon' need three for motors. I got the battery from Jamelis, but I had switched the motor. Hey, RIP, first, first I gotta go ahead and say, man, I don't know who your goat is, who your goat was, but my goat, and it's not because this shit is cool to say, you know, now that he's deceased, but this been my goat. Before I was a Dallas Mavericks fan, right, I was a... I was a Lakers fan. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to come clean. A lot of people don't know this. I was a Lakers fan my whole entire life because of Kobe and Kobe and Shaq. You know what I'm saying? I was born in 93. I was born, hey, I grew up into like in the Lakers, man. And so let me get to it, man. RIP Kobe, RIP is so after Kobe retired and left the Lakers, uh, that's when I had to go ahead and just give all the respect to the Dallas Mavericks, man. I shout out to them boys in 2011, but let me cut to the chase, man. These right here gotta be the ugliest name brand shoes to ever drop. 
<laughs> Straight up. Look at these. These hoes look like you know who Tesla is? You know that you seen the new Tesla Cybertruck? This yeah. shit look like you know how they came out with the cyber truck and then they had the uh the four wheeler come out the back. This looked like the shoes them niggas should have had on when they were driving. <laughs> yeah, trash. I don't know if you got the other colorways, but it get worse. The silver ones look like the Robocop 12s. I think these was called the Adidas Kobe twos, gold, golden twos. Hey, trash ass. The whole nine, man. Done for. Look at these. Boy, you're done. You're barbecued. You ready to attend this barbecue, those? my brother? I'm going to keep it a buck, man. Those are so ugly. I think these are, um, I think these selling for like, I don't know what the price was when they first came out, but I looked them up. <laughs> Recent prices, you know, because Kobe Bean passed away. RP is sold. Number eight. RP to 24. RP to eight. Whatever uh, Money Man said. Uh, but I think these are going for like a hundred and fifty to like. Oh no, what are, what was it? I can't remember, bro. I think I seen that somebody's paying like five hundred to sixteen hundred for these right now. I don't know who would ever do it. Um, if I was you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend it. But these are looked at as like Kobe, like kind of like his first, you know, that his shoe that he came out with. So Kobe, I don't know what you was thinking, sir. Um, I don't know what they paid you. Um, what they slipped you on the side, you know, but these was not it. They still ain't it. And uh, no disrespect to the man, to Black Mamba himself. You know what I'm saying? I'm all about Mamba mentality, but those, sir, were not of the Mamba mentality variety. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we coming, man. And so, with that being said, hey, that's all we got for you. That's all we got. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, let me just go ahead and come clean. Let me let me go ahead and drop my socials, man. You know, go ahead and get at me on Instagram. You know what I mean? I need way more love on Instagram. If you ain't following, go ahead and follow right now. It's down below. Just follow me right there, okay? If you know about Twitch, any of y'all gamers, any of y'all uh, like DJ sets, go and follow me on Twitch. I got some DJ sets coming for y'all. I'm gaming, variety streaming, playing all type of shit. Um, I'm playing music videos, music and Madden Sundays. So come rock with me over there on Twitch, man. Facebook. I ain't really worried about that. Hey, but find me how you gonna find me, man. That way. Yes, sir. Don't forget to hit me up on IG at Swag Vault LLC, where we keep you dripping all day, every day. And again, hey, 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 shout out, hey, shout out to Ways, man, for making this happen. A hey, shout out to uh, Low Life, man. Shout out to all my Low Life out there, man. You know what I'm saying? This this whole thing was sponsored by Low Life. It's going to be happening with our Low Life, man. So shout out to Low Life. Shout out to the Ways. Big up the shoe plug, man, for the one half of the Know Your Drip podcast. And before I leave, just always remember one thing. Stay draped up and dripped up. No, talk, 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 talk. Hey, and we out. Press out one for show, you gon' need three promoters. I got the body from Jamelis, but I had switched the motor. I got these badass bitches riding around this bitch, they all the coders. I just told them make a story. I just bought all the Trojans. Yeah.